Hey Aquarius, I hope you all are doing well. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you for your support. I truly greatly appreciate it. Please remember this is a general reading. Only take what resonates. If the message isn't for you, please leave it in love for those who need to hear it. Kindly consider uh, liking, subscribing, and commenting. It helps get my videos out in the YouTube world through the algorithm, and I would be greatly appreciative. So let's get started for your weekly universal message here. Spirit, give me guidance for Aquarius. What do they need to know, Spirit, for their highest good? That card's flying. Okay, so this is the soul's journey lesson card. So maybe this is something that's going on currently, something that you need to work on, okay? So the first card is indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of of life. So I, I know we, a lot of times we ignore that voice, right? That gut feeling. And we go with what's, you know, we fill our head with. So maybe some of you are kind of torn. Loneliness. I know that I am never alone. Yeah. It's like I'm getting a sense of somebody maybe not work, like not knowing whether or not to walk away or not. Service. I feel good when I can help others. So let's see what's going on. I'm going to do this a little bit different. Again, this is your universal message. Your first row is going to be personal spiritual growth. Your middle row, it, I'm sorry. Your first column is personal spiritual growth. The second column is love. Third column is career finances and finance. I will pull um, advice cards at the end, but I and I will clarify all the cards, but I'm going to do it column by column. Also know that, you know, sometimes this is a full storyline, which can be love or career. Take it as it resonates and just don't force it to fit. Spirit, give me guidance. Okie dokie. Well, that was quick. All right, Aquarius, we have the Eight of Cups. We have the Chariot. And we have the Seven of Cups. A lot of water energy here. Pisces, Scorpio. Um, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. So let me go ahead and pull the clarifiers. It's like there's definitely a, a full steam head-on effect. Like moving forward. You know, moving away from those fears perhaps. There could have been something about around the Leo full moon. Or in the last eclipse. Or there will be something around the next full moon. Or solar uh, next eclipse. Okay, Spirit, give me guidance. Why is the Eight of Cups here for Aquarius and personal and spiritual growth? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Last shuffle, Spirit. Okay, Two of Wands. Why is the Chariot here, Spirit? Why is the Chariot here? I feel like it's like you're, you're leaving your comfort zone here, Aquarius. Okay. You have the Two of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Why is the Seven of Cups here, Spirit? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Oh, oh, okay. And one. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords. So, what I'm getting here is, Aquarius, I feel like, I mean, this is huge. I feel like you are really going through a huge transformation here, okay? With the Eight of Cups, Two of Wands, it's like you're heading into a new direction that's going to help you mentally, emotionally. It's like you are no longer going to abandon your needs and emotions. It's, oopsie, there we go. That's clarification. Sorry about that, guys. Um, you're walking towards truth. And like I was saying, so the next eclipse, I think, is in April or something. So there, this could be happening around April or you'll start seeing results in April. Okay? But it's like you're going to be experiences changing, experiencing changes here, but you're learning to leave a comfort zone. There's a lot of growth and success with this life path that you're choosing whatever it is you're doing everybody's different with the chariot the four of swords the king of wands it's like driving the chariot is not easy at all because it's about balance um you know it's like you you're wanting to move towards peace where and the chariot speaks of where there's a will there's a way 
And that's what you're heading towards. You're heading towards your goals, moving away from the chaos and making forward progress. There is a huge new venture here that you're building. It's like I'm getting a sense of building a new you is what I'm hearing. With the seven of cups and ten of swords, you're ending yourself from escaping reality like you're actually now facing this you're is you're ending negative thoughts negative patterns unhealthy thoughts and unhealthy pa patterns and i feel like there is a big blessing coming your way so let's talk about love and again you guys take this as it resonates because it can mean different things for everybody i did pre-shuffle these cards spirit give me guidance give me guidance here for aquarius and love Give me guidance here for Aquarius and love, please. Aquarius. Okay. We have the four of wands in reverse. We have the high priestess, the judgment, and the five of pentacles. So let's go ahead and pull the clarifiers. I'm getting a sense you're, you're walking away. Perhaps from a marriage, a commitment. Let's see. Why is the four of wands in reverse spirit? Why is the... Okay. The three of wands. Look, you're going from the two to the three of wands. Why is the high priestess here? Why is the high priestess here for Aquarius spirit? We have the seven of pentacles. Why is judgment here? Why is judgment here? Why is judgment here? Judgment. Death. I said there was a transformation. I felt like there was a transformation. Why is... That's huge. Like, this is huge. You have three major arcanas. Why is the five of pentacles here? Five of pentacles. Five of pentacles. Five of pentacles. Remember, you guys are all on different timelines, too, okay? But I feel like this is coming soon if this hasn't started or you're really contemplating this at the moment. Okay. All right. So I'm getting the feeling that there has been a huge delay here, okay? With the four of wands in reverse and the three of wands, it's like you've been delayed or you've been delaying something from moving forward now remember guys this can be you know a job it can be love because remember sometimes this is a full picture story okay this is the column of love though but i feel like there's just been you know like that indecision card over there and loneliness maybe you were scared i was talking about when i pulled that indecision card out we speak of gut versus um guilt right and i feel like your your intuition is screaming something but your mind it's like you're trying to force yourself to believe something that you know is not real anymore or fight worth fighting for anymore it's like the three of wands is like what are you waiting for like take you're the leader here jump into it and progress forward okay with the the high priestess and the seven of pentacles it's like you need to pay attention to your intuition because I feel like it's very specifically telling you, okay, like something has grown to its full potential. It's not going to get any better than this. And it's time, it's time to move forward. Okay. Because with the, with the judgment and death, that is huge for like rebirth, resurrection. It's like, it's like dying and coming back from the dead, as you see with these coffins, right? But it's also about leaving the past dead behind you, moving forward into something completely new. Like, stop running away from the inevitable. Like, this ending is going to awaken you, and it's going to bring you to what and who you are meant to be, okay? So... And take that as it resonates, right? With the five of pentacles and the two of cups. Okay. 
with the with the five of pentacles two of cups like some of the for some of you this could have been a platonic relationship maybe you thought this was like a soulmate connection but i'm getting platonic okay but i do get a sense like you know it's like i keep getting directed to the loneliness card like this person has made you feel lonely whether they don't communicate i'm getting the feeling that it's like you felt unloved unappreciated okay and spirits guiding you to listen to your higher self, like create your own harmony for yourself here. Never allow someone's, someone to tear you down by their actions or how they treat you. Okay, because you're, you're worth so much more than that. Like, this is very spiritually guided. Like, heavily spiritually guided. All right, let's get into career and finances. And again, remember, this can be a full storyline, which I feel like it is, whether it be work or what have you. Spirit, give me guidance for Aquarius for career and finances. I, I'm just, get, it's like time to take action, time to take action. Like that's what I keep hearing. Time to take action, time to take action. Spirit, give me guidance for Aquarius. Okay, we have the Seven of Swords. Spirit, give me guidance for career and finances for Aquarius, please. Seven of Swords, Eight of Cups, again, and Two of Wands, again. All right, so let me clarify these. Again, I'll pull advice at the end. Spirit, why is the Seven of Swords here? Ooh. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here for Aquarius and career and finances? Okay, Queen of Wands. Why is the Eight of Cups here, Spirit? Why is the Eight of Cups here for Aquarius? Why is the Eight of Cups here for Aquarius, Spirit, please? And thank you. Ten of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here? Ooh, okay. Oof. I love it. Look, you got the Seven. The Seven of Swords. You got the four of, of wands now in the upright, and you got the sun. Wow. Hooey. Okay. So, seven of swords, queen of wands. I'm going to go through the career, and then I'm going to kind of give an overall, and then we'll do advice. So, I'm going to say that a lot of people look at the seven of swords and immediately go to lie, cheating, stealing, right? Which, it can mean that. But it's also about, like, the way you think. Like... I'm getting a strong sense here. Maybe you've had some setbacks or your way of thinking, okay, is not working for you. Like the, the approach you have. So for example, if you're in a mindset, like you keep trying to fight these challenges and you're not going about it the, the right way, it's like work smarter, not harder, okay? It's like you need to stand in that queen of wands energy because the queen of wands is a natural born leader. And you need to, it's time to like shine yourself because she's very, whether male or female, she is very self-confident, knows her stuff. She gets out and about. She's an action taker, a mover. I'm getting this sense like something new is scary, okay? Take that how it resonates, but like the fear of something new, the fear of stepping out and doing something perhaps different or actually standing in your power for what you really want to do you know, and, you know, maybe being secretive about it because you're not sure what people would think, okay? Eight of Cups, Ten of Wands. You've built something here, okay? Because to me, the Ten of Wands, and although it's like putting the burden down, this person went out in those fields to gather those wands, okay? To build something further. And for some of you, it's like, okay, you're making headway now. Now that you these have, you know, these wands have been collected. Now it's time to move forward to the next thing, okay? So maybe you feel like you've grown, okay, to your max capacity in a situation and now you're moving forward, but along the way you've gained that experience and knowledge. For some of you, you've taken on too much and things have weighed you down and you're no longer happy with what you're doing and you're moving forward, which either way I love because it's it's a great thing. And again, two of wands speaks of leadership. You're taking control. You're, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> 
it's like I'm getting the feeling like there has been a really rough decision here. It's like, what path do I go go down? And it's like, with the Seven of Swords here, it's like an indecision, not knowing. And keep looking back, like, am I really walking out on something that's really meant for me? Or... And I'm telling you, you already have that answer intuitively. You don't need anybody to tell you that. We all carry the answers within, okay? I feel like you're walking, you're actually walking to your towards your true happiness and celebrating. You know, even though the Four of Wands up here is reversed, it's still saying you still celebrate, even though maybe something may have not been how you expected it to turn out you still learned from it you still grew from it but what you're heading into okay can you know it's like i'm getting a feeling too like you can either stay stuck in the mentality of of lack and loss and unhappiness or you can move forward towards celebrating and towards happiness again okay and that can go for career or or love because i'm feeling it can go for anyone so let me pull the advice cards. So you have the Ace of Wands. You have the Seven of Pentacles. You have the Knight of Cups. Some of you are going to have a new love offer coming in too. And you have the Knight of Swords. So you're having a huge epiphany here with the ace of wands look you got the lovers i can't show nakedness on there you know you could certainly have somebody coming in okay with the emotions here now you have the ten of swords again again i feel like you're ending maybe for some of you you know again this is advice you need to there's an epiphany you're going to have you need to roll with it. You need to not doubt it. Spirit's asking you to take this wand, grasp it, and move forward because you have a whole new adventure coming to you, and it's absolutely beautiful. I do feel like you're going to have a choice. You know, are you going to stay here in this situation, or are you going to are you going to venture forward to get your emotional that emotional and loving nurturing that you need and deserve? I do feel new love is coming in for you. Okay, with the Seven of Pentacles, look, this is like the same cards, all the same card. Look, you got the Queen of Cups again. And look, Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups. You're moving towards something that is emotionally fulfilling, emotionally fulfilling. And, you know, I'm being drawn to the Knight of Swords with this Four of Swords. Make sure you don't rush through life too quickly. Enjoy and savor the moments. That you need to okay because i feel things are going to be happening really fast and accelerating at a, at a high speed knight of cups knight of wands seven of wands nine of pentacles look then you see the two of cups take action move forward be brave you got this okay seven of wands don't you know you stand up for what you believe in because it will bring you to prosperity. You will see the light at the end of the tunnel. It will bring you to material and, you know, success and stability here. I love this, Aquarius. Okay. Knight of Swords. Page of Pentacles. You got the Seven of Wands again. And look, Nine of Cups. Wish Fulfillment. And you got the Ace of Wands. You are having a major aha moment here. Okay. You could be learning something new. Again, you could get... You could be getting a, a job offer as well as a love offer here. It's It looks like it's solid, stable, okay? But it's all about looking at the things and nurturing the things that you truly want. Because it's not about what other people want. It's about what you want, and it's time to take action now, Okay? This is beautiful, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please like, consider subscribing, comment, tell me your story. I greatly appreciate all of your support. Have a beautiful day. Keep standing in your power, and I'll see you soon. Bye.